Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and in this tutorial we're going to learn the difference between brush, opacity and flow in Photoshop. So you can see I've created a new document here. We've got a canvas and a bright white background and I'm just going to grab the brush tool with black selected as my foreground colour and in the options bar at the top you can see we've got a bunch of options and we have opacity and flow. That's what we're going to be focusing on in this video, the difference between the two. So first of all with my brush tool selected I'm just going to grab one of Photoshop's default hard round brushes. The size is 100 pixels and the hardness is set to 50. And what I'm going to do first of all is just draw a nice big black squiggle just so you can have a reference, something to compare to when we try out the opacity and the flow in a moment. So there we go, that's what the brush that I'm using looks like at 100% opacity and 100% flow. Let's drop that opacity down to 30 and do the same again. So if I click and drag, you can see that it is creating this brush effect at 30%. It doesn't go above or below 30% all within the same stroke. So no matter where I brush, it's 30% opacity all the way around. Now if I let go of the mouse button, and go back and do the same again, it basically puts down another layer of this but at 30%. So you can see as I'm brushing over the edges, the inner area that already has 30% is just doubling up but it doesn't actually go above or below 30% in terms of what I'm actually putting down within this brush stroke. So if I let go again and do the same again, we've just got another layer of 30% and you can see where I'm hitting that edge, it is staggering that effect. So this darker grey area here where we've had three lots of 30% here, this has had two and this has had one. Okay so that's opacity, let's put that back up to 100 and now let's drop down our flow to 30% as well and see how this is different. So if I click here you can see to start with it looks exactly the same, 30% of black. But as I drag you can see that as I go over the same area, it just continuously builds up that brush effect. So every movement you can see is just constantly building up and building up. And even if I drop the flow down to something like 10%, so really, really light, let's do that again. So you can see it's all nice and light, but when I start to go back over areas multiple times, it just keeps building that up. And flow like this is a little bit more akin to more traditional physical mediums such as painting where you would do a brush stroke and if you go over it again and again, it builds up the color, it becomes thicker, a bit bolder. Whereas opacity here in the middle, this is a little bit more of a digital effect, a digital way of working. But yeah, so that's the main difference between brush, opacity and flow. Guys, if you've got any questions or comments, please do drop them down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.